The Anglican Church of Trinidad and Tobago, in celebration of its 150th anniversary, presents our daily scripture reflection. The reading is taken from Psalms 137, chapter 6 to 7. It is being read by Andrew Richards from St. Mary's Parish, Tobago. It reads, Let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth if I do not remember you. If I do not set Jerusalem above my highest joy. Remember the day of Jerusalem, O Lord, against the people of Edom. Who said, Down with it, down with it, even to the ground. This is the word of the Lord. Greetings and blessings to all listeners on this new day. I am the Reverend Father Shaquille Charles of the parish of St. Mary Tobago. And it is, it is my delight to share with you on this portion of scripture chosen for our meditation this day, this morning. Psalm 135, verses 6 to 7, as we just heard. And uh, as we heard this psalm, we c- we cannot but think that perhaps it was chosen in light of the inclement weather that we experienced uh, yesterday and, and the day before. But more so, this was chosen quite a while now. This passage for today was chosen long before we had even thought or dreamt of this happening. And so the emphasis on this psalm, and in particular these two verses, is on praising the Lord, praising God because of who He is and because of what He has done for His people. And so these verses, the Lord does whatever pleases Him in heaven and earth, in the seas and all the deeps. It says that the Lord is sovereign and He does whatever He chooses. And so says that the Lord or God does whatever pleases him. So we are clinging to our God, our sovereign Lord God. And so what they're saying or what the psalmist was saying at the time when he wrote the psalm was that the Lord is greater than the false gods of the nations. And their gods can do nothing. As it is written in another psalm, their gods have eyes and they cannot see ears but they cannot hear. And the list goes on. But our God sees, knows, Oh God lives with us and uh, that is something that we have an upper hand on others and so God showed his power in Old Testament times over the gods of Egypt and Canaan by defeating their armies and giving Israel their possessions and so it shows us and it tells us and it prompts us rather that we should yield to the sovereign will of God because it is God's will. God's will, God causes nature. He brings up rain, He brings up sun, He brings up lightning, He brings up winds and all else in our lives. And so in the same way, we too can yield to this sovereign Lord as we go forth day by day. Because God does whatever He wills, He does whatever He chooses. And so it prompts us above and among other things to enact in our lives the will of God and day by day we recite the Lord's prayer we say above and among other things therein thy will be done your will be done and this is an act of full surrender but do we fully surrender when we utter those words with perfect diction and eloquent speech in the realistic scheme of things we still want to have a say in the way our life should unfold. We still want to have a say in how God does what he does. We still want to know beforehand what the outcome of particular situations will be. We must be reminded that God does whatever he chooses. And so giving way to God is an act of trust. As maturing Christians, we know that we will not always know the outcome before we make a decision to submit and surrender. And in most times it is in retrospect that we breathe a sigh of relief seeing how God silently and sometimes unknowingly to us unfolds his plan. 
And so packaged with this act of surrender is an innate and automatic element of trust that God's will is sovereign and far beyond the scope of our myopic visions. And so let us reflect on the need to pray in order to enter into union with God, this God who does what he chooses. Let us reflect on the need to pray before making decisions in our lives. Let us reflect on surrendering our lives to the sovereign will of God. Let us pray before we act and so allow our Lord to be the one who enters into our lives and direct us according to his holy choosing, according to his holy will. Let us recommit ourselves to the perfect plan in the heart of our Father in heaven and be ready and open for his guidance every step of the way. And so may our daily food be to surrender to the will of our Father in heaven. God does whatever pleases him in heaven, on earth, in the seas and all deeps. And it is up to us to yield to God's plan and not thwart our own plans in the way. So God's blessings to you this day as we all yield to the sovereign will and power of Almighty God. Thank you. Brought to you by the Anglican Church of Trinidad and Tobago, celebrating its triple jubilee.